Alright, welcome back. We're about to begin the double jeopardy round, and right now let's take a look at the scores before we get into the next round. Right now I'm in first place with 6,600, player two is in second with 1,600, and player three is in third place with 1,200. That means player three is going to select first in double jeopardy. And we're about to begin that round right now. We start the double jeopardy category. Two David Hudson on the board this round. And let's take a look at the categories. They are animals. Animals. Playwrights. Playwrights. Country music. Country music. The 15th, the 15th century. 15th century. On the map. On the map. And, in and marks. U.S. museums. And U.S. museums. Player three. Player three. You're in last you, place, you which means you Player get to select four. first in double. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Moving for a $400 clue. This one's a little bit tough. Let's hear player it, player two. two. Who's Eugene O'Neill? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Eugene O'Neill. That's right. Player two, you start us off. 15th century for four. On July 3rd, 1450, peasant leader Jack Cade entered this capital in triumph. By July 12th, he was dead. I'll try this. Player one? What is London? Right. Yes, I got it. All right, yeah, let's, let's get back into this. On the map has control. Counties in this U.S. state include Jones, Jasper, and Jefferson Davis. Player one? What is Missouri? Sorry, oh. no, that's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player three. Player three? What is Montana? Oh. No. No, that's incorrect. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. It was Mississippi. That's right. Wait yeah, minute. that's what we needed. Player two, you start us off. Animals for four. The laughing type of this dog-like carnivore is a predator of big game, but also scavenges for food. Yes, player one? What is a hyena? That's right. Way to go. <laughs> A lot of clues, right, a lot free. of The Snyders is among the smallest types of this eel known for sharp teeth and attacks on divers. Player two. Player two, what is the moray eel? Right. Right. That's right. Should All right, let's get back into this. Animals Player for two has control. The caracal is a wild type of this household pet that roams over Africa and the Middle East. Player two. Okay, player two. What is a dog? Oh. No, no, that's Sorry. correct. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. The cat. The cat. One or the other, and she You get to pick one. again, player two. Country music for four. At his wedding reception in 2006, he serenaded bride Nicole Kidman with the song, Making Memories of Us. Uh, who was it that married Nicole Kidman? Player one? Um, who is Keith Urban? <laughs> uh, yes! All right, let's Here's get back into this. Four. You can get customized Grigri bags at the historic Voodoo Museum on Dumain Street in this city. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is New Orleans? Oh, yes, we for 800, please. Player one. As this society has a long history, maps were the theme of a major 2007 exhibit at its museum, Explorers Hall. Here's the response we were looking for. National Geographic. National Geographic, okay. Player one, back. you can ham it up at a museum in this Virginia town. It houses a ham cured in 1902. Uh, I don't really want to take a chance with this one. Player two. What is Smithfield? Good for you. Smithfield, Virginia, yes. 
Larry, Larry 200. You start us off. Yes, we seen this for 16. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center in this Alabama city contains a vast collection of rockets and space memorabilia. I'll try this. It's player one. What is Birmingham? Either Birmingham or oh. Huntsville, and I picked the wrong one. Any other takers? Yes, player three? Huntsville. I have one or the other, and I picked the wrong one. Player three? Stardust. 15th century 800. A rebellion of his brothers, Andre and Boris, was stopped by this ruler, the third. Come on, how many Russian names are left? It's player two. What is Vesey? Oh. No. That's wrong. Anyone else? Here's what we wanted. Ivan. Ivan the third. third. You get to pick again, player three. 15th century for 12. This Portuguese prince wasn't just about exploration. He and his brother Fernando tried to conquer Tangier and failed miserably. We're talking about Henry the Navigator. Henry the Navigator. You get to Never. pick again, player three. 15th century for 16. In 1453, the last Byzantine emperor, the 11th of this name, died in the vain defense of his city. Player it's three. player three. Constantine. That is, <laughs> Constantine. That is right. Player $4, three, you pick again, please. Fishing the 15th century. A masterpiece of illumination is the circa 1415 book Les Très Riches Heures du This Duke. The correct response is the Duc de Berry. Duc de Berry. Player three, pick again. On the map. Eight. And here's Jimmy. One of eight that starts with M. It's the state seen here. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is... Maine? Oh. No. Oh. Down to 54. Anyone else? Here's the response we were looking for. Minnesota. Minnesota. You again, player three. On the map for 12. There's a Shatner building at McGill University in this city where William Shatner was born. Player one. What is Montreal? That is correct. Yes. On the map for Answer. Daily doubles. Oh. <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. You are currently in the lead. Decide on your I'll wager, player one. 400. Gutsy move, I know, but... All right, get here's your clue. This former Soviet Republic lies between the Prut and Dniester rivers. Uh, what is Macedonia? Oh, Sorry, we no. you down the third. We're talking about Moldova. Moldova, so I drop down to third place. Please pick again. An arm of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, the L.A. Museum of This, teaches about bigotry, racism, and the Holocaust. Uh, Let's hear it, Layer One. What is anti-Semitism? Nope. Oh, now I'm in the hole. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. Tolerance. That's <laughs> correct. Player three, you start us off. Country music for eight. At the 2010 ACM Awards, this American Idol became the first woman to win Entertainer of the Year twice. It's player one. Uh, who's Carrie Underwood? 
Yep, you are out of the hole. There we go. On the map, one, two starters. According to the New Testament, a battle of good versus evil will take place on a hill in this town Joshua captured. Player one? Is Mecca? No. Arrgh! Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Minus 2,000. Here's what we wanted. Megiddo. Uh, you again. Minus 16. What else is new? But that the new is also called this. From Dutch words. Yes, player one. Is the world the beast? That's yeah. correct. 2,000 animals. Player one. Its German name is Nilpferd. Nile horse. Here's the correct response. The hippopotamus. The hippopotamus. Player one, choose again. Public disgust over his play, Ghosts, caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. Okay, player one. Where's Henry Gibson? That is correct. Great, we're back into it now. Player one, choose again. Answer, Daily Double. Answer, the second Daily Double. Player have one, to go you're in last place. So let's see if you can clue. All right, here's your clue. This Dolly Parton song topped CMT's list of the 100 greatest love songs of country music. What is I Will Always Love You? Good move. All and right. It paid off. You get to pick again, player country one. Music 16. His first number one country hit and first top 40 pop hit was 1975's Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. We're talking about Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. 2000. Select. It's never too early for happy hour in It's Five O'Clock Somewhere. A hit for Alan Jackson and him. The correct response is Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Three clues left. Player, Player 2000. One. The 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. It's Player One. Who's Clifford Odets? Oh. Right you are. 4400. Player One. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. It's Player One. Who's Christopher Marlowe? Yeah. Good. All right. And we we'll come back here. Last clue for 1,200. Clue. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Player one? It was Tennessee Williams. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So at the end of Double Jeopardy, I have the lead with $7,200, player 3 has 6000 and player 2 has 2400 What will happen in the final Jeopardy round? Find out after this.